Reef Teats is sponsored by Brightwell Aquatics and Bulk Reef Supply. Today we're going to do some part testing on the Coral Care Gen 2. What's going on guys? Devin from Reef Teats. Now about 4-6 to six weeks ago I did a bit of an unboxing first looks at the Coral Care Gen 2 fixture. Um, and, and during that video I did a bit of a part test on it. Now after that video I actually realized that my light was not working at its full potential and it felt a bit bad because the power readings weren't quite true to what it should be. Um, so the blue channel on mine for some reason something was up with the driver and it was only running at about 10%. So my fixture was only drawing about 90 something watts and I just popped this one on a kilowatt meter and this one's drawing 176, 178 watts. So it's a lot better and a lot closer to where it should be. Um, now it's been running like this. So I got my replacement a few days ago. It's been on the tank now. Um, it is passively cooled. Um, it's not super hot, but it's definitely warm to touch. There is no fan on it, so 100% passively cooled. Um, so it's kind of nice that there's no noise, but you know, if you're in a small canopy, canopy you want to make sure there's a bit of kind of airflow around it. Now I do have it running at 100% right now. So if we take a look at the app, it is running at 100 to 100. So this is kind of like, in a way, I'm going to say how Kessel does it. How uh, you have the slider and you can make it either warmer or you can make it bluer. So you can kind of pick which way. Um, now if it's running at 100% blue, it is drawing about 85 watts. And if I slide it to 100% warm color, it is drawing again about 85 watts. And if we drag it to the center, so it's about 100 to 100. Now we're drawing about uh, 176, 178 watts light is nine and three quarters above the water and I'm gonna be testing at the frag rack which is about 10 inches into the water so it gives you kind of a rough idea of kind of where things sit and we are testing it with the Apogee MQ510 surface of the water directly under the fixture we're getting around 900 par if I move it to the left edge of the fixture I'm getting around 500 same with this side water surface about 450 I come to the front edge we're getting around 400 so if I bring it down to the frag rack so again that's about 10 inches under it's getting about 270 par come to the front corner we're getting about 250 I come to the kind of back of the frag rack we're getting around 266 come to the very back wall of my tank I'm getting 198 um, directly straight down underneath it we're getting a little over 300 overall it's actually a pretty good par for kind of that happy 250 to 350 SPS range um, now the funny thing is the last month I've been using the one that was mainly just on the warm whites and everything is still growing and happy and everything's doing well underneath it um, visually to my eyes having the bluer channel back to its full potential gives you a little more color pop and aesthetically it looks a bit better to the eye so I just want to do that kind of quick part test and kind of things to show you guys because I know the last one wasn't really showing its true potential. But yeah, overall, you know, it's still pretty funky new light from Philips and it's not released yet. Um, last video in the comments people were asking how much. Can't say 100% yet. This was kind of like a demo prototype kind of test route unit. Um, they should be coming to the market sometime in the next few months. So I guess we'll figure out what that pricing is at that point. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, as always, hit that like button. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you guys on the next video.